the way that I duplicated the top of the cover for our housing unit right here was to recycle what I did at the bottom piece. So I'm going to go to my side view and I'm going to select with my modeling toolkit, I'm going to select faces and I'm going to select these guys right here. I just want to duplicate these guys right here. This is what it looks like. Hit F. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to edit mesh, duplicate. Now, when I click on duplicate, it's just going to duplicate those faces. Extract is going to cut them off. That is completely up to you. If I click on duplicate, notice that now if I go right mouse button, I have one object here and then I have another object here. If I W, there you have it. So now what we want to do is we want to flip this guy on the negative Y. So I'm going to go to my side view and let me hide my image planes. I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to disengage my pivot point and put it to the very, very top of this piece. So I'm going to hit D. I'm going to move it and then immediately I'm going to hold V and then snap it to the very top. So now what I can do is I can use the scale tool to scale this guy in this direction which will be the negative Y. As soon as I type in negative one, I've duplicated this piece right here. And now I can continue modeling the top part by recycling this guy right here. I'm gonna delete the history, freeze the transformation, and center the pivot. And notice that my normals are going in the right direction. So again, I'm gonna to go to my side view, turn on the visibility of my image planes, and I'm noticing that this piece right here starts further down, no big deal. I'm gonna to go to my vertexes and select this area right here, lower it down. Now, the only polygons that I'm gonna salvage are gonna be the lip and the beginning of the bolt cover. The rest, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to delete it. And now I can continue modeling the top pieces. Again, we do not wanna work with the entire piece. We wanna work with one corner so I'm going to select everything except for that corner and now I'm ready to model the rest of the piece. I'm going to select the top and I'm going to use my scale tool to make sure that all my vertices are at the same level. So I'm going to scale them down. This is one way of doing it. Or I can use the move tool and deselect one of my vertices, go to W left mouse button and deselect keep spacing and then I'm going to move in the Y direction V for snap to point middle mouse drag it on that point that we deselected right here and now all these vertices are aligned to this point right here so this is one good way of making sure that all these polygons right here are aligned and now what I can do I can select my top edges so I'm going to do a click and drag I'm going to hold control and deselect the bottom edges and I'm ready for another extrusion. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to extrude this to this edge right here. So in the modeling toolkit, I'm going to select extrude, hit W for move and I'm going to move it right here on the top of our bolt cover. And as you can see, we've created the next section that we're going to combine together with the top of our housing. To soften the edges, all you have to do is select the edges, shift right mouse button, soften harden edges, soften edges, back to object mode, delete the history, freeze the transformation, center the pivot, and we can start on the next step.